start record. All right, everyone, I'm here for the, my review of the 1997 Royal Rumble. Uh, this event is from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. And this whole thing was centered around Shawn Michaels going home to possibly win the WWE Championship for the second time. Was it any good? Well, we're about to find out. Uh, so... How I'm going to get the overall review for this show will be in the description box, but essentially each match will be out of possible five stars. There's seven matches on, there's six matches on this card, so there's 30 possible matches here. There's 30 possible stars here. So whatever that is out of 30 will be the grade, as it is for the other ones. But the opening match is Hunter Hearst Helmsley defending the Intercontinental Championship against Gold Dust. This is a feud that would that started at the very end of 1996 and it went all the way to WrestleMania 13. A god awful WrestleMania, but um, uh, this is a very good match. It's a three and a half star match. Uh, Triple H gets the win with the pedigree and retains the IC title. Uh, this is also one of the few appearances of Curtis Hughes, who was Mr. Hughes back in 1993 that Triple H brought back as a butler. Um, I don't know how Mr. Hughes would be a butler, but whatever. Uh, should be noted during this match, I guess they were bored, because they cut to the audience where Todd Pettengill is interviewing Colin Ray, the country music singer. Yay, I guess, but why cut to that in the middle of the match? It seems really odd. I could knock a star rating off on the match for that. I'm not going to. It's a three and a half star match. So, in fact, eh, I'm not going to. It's still three and a half stars, even with that. Because you can still see the match going on while it's, so if you're not paying it so, don't pay attention to the interview. <laughs> so, our second match of the night is Ahmed Johnson versus Farouk. Uh, again, this thing would end at WrestleMania 13 in a Chicago street shop. <coughs> so, I'll get to that when I get to my WrestleMania review series. Um... Ahmed wins by DQ when the Nation Domination interferes, and this is a one and a half star match. So, yeah, nothing more, nothing less, one and a half stars. Our third match of the night is The Undertaker taking on Vader. Now, interesting bit of history, this is supposed to be the blow-off of a feud that would have started at SummerSlam 96 and went all the way to here between Shawn Michaels and Vader. Shawn Michaels was being a prick at the time and didn't want to work with Vader for an extended program. So, that pretty much is the reason why Vader never did anything in the WWE is because Shawn Michaels was a prick and a dum-dum. I guess since he found God later, he probably regrets that decision. I'm guessing. I don't know. But, um... So, Taker decided to do Vader a favor, and he jobs to Vader. Yeah, it's not clean, and you could argue because of Paul Bearer, but then again, you a lot of times have to protect The Undertaker. So, uh, but this is a two-star match. Nothing special, but it's not overly bad. So our fourth match is this is a Lucha Libre tag team match. Uh, six people in it, all from Mexico, the AAA organization, and it's a traditional Lucha Libre match. Flip, 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 finish. That's the normal Lucha Libre stuff. Watch, watch some of AAA back then. Uh, one star match because if you watch. Mexican wrestling, you've seen a lot of it before. So then we have the 1997 Royal Rumble match itself. Uh, first man in is Crush. Second man is Ahmed Johnson. The fake Razor Ramon shows up, which is Razor Ramon's only Royal Rumble. It's not even by the guy who was Razor Ramon originally. Uh -huh. So, uh, and Razor eliminated about, all about 15 seconds by Ahmed Johnson, who then eliminates himself to go after Farouk. Uh, Phineas Gowling comes in at 4, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin comes in at 5. Stone Cold is the Iron Man for this Rumble, lasting, I believe, it is 35 minutes. And in doing so in this Rumble, he tied a... In this Rumble, he tied a record for most eliminations that would not be broken until four years later in 2001. Uh, by eliminating 10 people, a record that he tied with Hogan in 89. Uh, so... Austin's first victim of the Rumble was Phineas Godwin. His second victim of the Rumble was Bart Gunn and then Jake Roberts. Uh, 
So, ring fills up, yada yada, you know, the traditional stuff you see in the Royal Rumble. Uh, interesting spot here where they were teasing about a split between Owen Bulldog, because Owen eliminated the British Bulldog on accident. Yeah, whatever. Watch the quotes. And all this, because they were teasing a breakup between Owen and the Bulldog. Uh, this was also Rikishi's, like, second time he's been called a Rumble Rookie, because he was a Sultan. He, and they count the Sultan as a Rumble Rookie, even though he wasn't, because it was Rikishi. Go see. But, uh, Undertaker's number 30, the fake Diesel is number, is in here, that's Kane, for all you, in his second Royal Rumble, <coughs> in his second Royal Rumble of, of, what is it now, 16, I believe? Yeah, well, this and 96 were his first two Rumbles. Uh, anyway, the final five, technically, here are, because it's real hard for me to do the actual final four, are, so I'm going to do the final five. The final five here are Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, The Fake Diesel, Undertaker, and Vader. And I should note, just because I want to, that Jerry Lawler was in this match for all about third, was for probably about 2.5 seconds. He came in, Bret Hart knocked him over the top rope, and he eliminated him. Anyway, Bret Hart, before the final five, had thrown Austin over the top rope, his feet hit the floor, but the referees didn't see it because they were distracted with Mankind and Terry Funk having a fight. So Austin slides back in, eliminates Undertaker Vader, Bret Hart eliminates Diesel, and then Austin eliminates Bret Hart to win the 1997 Royal Rumble. Uh, then Brett throws a hit, uh, temper tantrum, because, again, you're teasing his heel turn that he would l do at WrestleMania. Uh, as a match, I'm giving this Rumble two and a half stars. It's not a very good Royal Rumble, because, again, there's a lot of no-names in it. A lot of no-names in it. Uh, the Mexican guys, nobody outside, most people, not, uh, only people in Mexico would know them. I saw for Mil Mascaris, but he only ate himself because he didn't want to have anyone throw him over, so he crossed by it over the top himself. Ole, Mil Mascaris. Uh, so, then you had, like, Latin Lover, Flash Funk, and all these schmucks. It wasn't a star-studded rumble. So... Uh, it is of note, though, that this is, yeah. it is of note, Come here. that this is the first Royal Rumble appearance of Mankind and The Rock. So, that's noteworthy. When you start the spaghetti water and get a thing uh, of a so, pork yeah, out of the freezer. Yeah, it's a 2.5 star match. <laughs> deep freeze. Uh, now, sadly, <laughs> Austin did not get his crack to the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. He ended up into a, a rivalry with Bret Hart. Mm -hmm. He ended up facing Bret Hart in the only watchable match mm -hmm. of WrestleMania 13. So, yeah. Uh, Austin did get a title shot in April, but that's uh, so, this normal one's kind of wasted because of that. That's another reason it's a 2.5. But So, then we get the main event. Shawn Michaels versus Psycho Sid for the WWE Championship. This is in Shawn Michaels' hometown, and it made sense for it to for this for the Rumble to take a back seat to this because this is what this whole thing was built around. Uh, Michaels wins by hitting Sid with a camera, and then the sweet chin music. Forget the one, two, three. We become a two-time WWE champion. Of course, he then decided he didn't want to do business WrestleMania 13 and faked a knee and, and claimed he lost his smile because he didn't want to drop the title to Bret Hart WrestleMania 13. But. Yeah. Shawn Michaels could be a real prick when he was younger. Uh, as a match, this is a three-star match. So, yeah. Not a bad Rumble pay-per-view, but, you know, if you add them up, let's see, 3.5, 1.5, that's 4. Point, that's four. Then 6, 7, 9.5, and then plus 3 is 12. 12. That's 12 and a half out of a possible 30 stars. I believe that would equate to a D show. So, uh, next up is 1998. That's a really, that's a very good Royal Rumble. At least the Royal Match is really good, but, uh, so, uh, that'll be uploaded in just a little bit. And thanks for what, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button down there. Uh, subscribe, and thanks for watching.